tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be putting a grip on your tennis. So what we're gonna be talking about today is replacement grips. Now I'm gonna be talking about the most popular ones as well as the ones that come on the rackets that they sell. So we're gonna start with the rackets the, the grips from the rackets that the manufacturers sell. Um, Head makes my favorite one, which is the Hydrozork Pro that comes on most of their rackets. It's a nice neutral grip that's not too thick, not too thin, and very, very neutral when it comes to tackiness. It comes in three different colors. We got the white, we got the black, and it also comes in a neon yellow. All right, the next one that the manufacturers use is Wilson. Um, Wilson has been using this Sublime Grip, but have recently switched to this Pro Performance Grip. So the, the Sublime Grip, as you see, has a lot of holes in it. And what that does is it helps to dry faster. So when you perspire and you perspire into those holes, the air that comes through and circulates helps to dry, dry the grip out faster. The Pro Performance is more of a neutral grip like the head grip. Um, not too thick, not too thin, not too tacky. So kind of just right. The next grip that we're gonna, that um, the manufacturers use, Babolat Syntec Pro. Uh, this is pretty much universal on all Babolat rackets. Again, not too thick, not too thin, and not too tacky. So the three major manufacturers grips that come on the rackets have very, very similar characteristics. And I've said it, um, couple times now. Now a lot of people want like a tackier grip or a drier grip depending on how much you perspire. Uh, that is what an overgrip is for. So what they try to do with the grips that come with the rackets is just kind of be right in the middle. You know just be neutral. You know I personally don't use an overgrip. Um, I use the Hydrozor Pro on my rackets because I don't want it to be too sticky. You know, when I switch from a forehand grip to a backhand grip, I don't want it to hit the brakes on me. So that's why I choose that grip. Um, I choose white just because it feels better in my hand. It's not as slippery. So the consensus in tennis is that white is a little tackier than a black uh, because the dye that they have to inject into the grips, the darker the grip is, the less tacky it becomes. So white, um, hopefully being less ink or less dye will be a little more tacky. So other grips on the market, and I'm just gonna go with head for now, is the comfort grip the Hydrozorb Comfort Grip. So as you see, there are holes, perforation in this, but it's more spread out. So uh, it's more for comfort and tackiness as, you, as it says. So to me, this one feels a little thicker and is a little more cushioned. So for those who kind of want a bulked up grip, just a little bulked up, um, and a little more padding in the hand, this would be a good option for you. Now, for the people who sweat a little more um, and want the grip to absorb, the Hydrozorb Tor is your best option in the headline. As you can see, the holes are separated a little more and they're bigger. So it catches the perspiration and holds it and as the wind blows, 
Um, as you leave it, it dries faster. So anything that um, has holes are gonna absorb your perspiration faster. Now going into the Wilson line, uh, for the people who want a little shock absorption, let's say if your hand hurts or you got tennis elbow, um, shoulder hurts possibly, this has a gel coating underneath the grip so that when the ball strikes the string bed, um, it absorbs some of that shock. Let's see. Um, for those purists, we got leather grips too. See that? So if you want to feel everything, so this is the opposite of the shock shield. If you want to feel the ball, if you like um, vibration, what I call feel, uh, this is yours. This is probably the heaviest of all of these grips, but you will feel the bevels more in the racket, those, those lines, the shape of the racket handle. This will accentuate that. Um, for those of you who have, you know, hands that have no, you know, a lot of calluses and all that, and you hold it perfectly right, uh, a lot of people put an overgrip over this and, you know, get a, get a nice, hit pause. Like Roger Federer, uh, he has this underneath his pro staffs and he puts a fresh overgrip over this every time after he plays. So this, he can feel the bevels, he can feel an easy transition from, let's say a serve to a forehand to a backhand. Um, but this, you know, it's hard on the hand. If you put an overgrip, it's probably not too bad, but it is hard on the hand. And it's very slippery if you don't use an overgrip. Um, going into the, this has been the standard. Going to the Babolat line, um, the Syntec Pro has been the staple grip uh, for a long, long time on their standard rackets. Uh, again, there's no holes in this, so it's a very standard uh, grip, replacement grip, um, very neutral. Um, I used to use this all the time too. Uh, it's a little firmer though. Um, I like the Syntec Pro because it's a little softer. These are a little firmer. Um, rubber seems to be a little on the harder side, but these have been great. Been on the rackets for 10 plus years, maybe up to 20 years. Now, the new thing on the, the grip market in the past five, 10 years has been a, a smaller replacement grip. So for those of you who want um, to feel the bevels, don't want the leather, Maybe the grip's a little too big for you. You chose the wrong grip size. Uh, there's been these things, the skin feel, these over these replacement grips, the skin feel. Uh, so these are not as thick as some of these replacement grips. So what I categorize these replacement grips as one eighth of an inch. So when you take a racket and you strip it all the way down, to the base and you put one of these on, it's one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch from the base. So that's how they come up with grip sizes. Now, this is about one tenth to one twelfth of a grip size. So not quite one eighth of an inch. Now, a over grip a standard overgrip is about one sixteenth of an inch. So one interesting thing that Babolat did um, during this generation of Pure Strike rackets, which came out about two and a half years ago, was they intentionally put a thinner grip on these as stock. And this grip was the skin feel. So this was thinner than the Syntec Pros so that the players who use this racket could feel each size of this bevel and was thinner. 
So you could easily put an overgrip on this one and it would be a standard grip size. Now, in the new Strike, which just came out, this version, um, they have changed that grip. It's still thinner, it's still thinner, but it's called a Syntec Team Grip now. T-E-A-M. Still thin. Uh, I would say the feel is just a little not as rubberized, because this grip was pretty rubberized. A little more natural feeling as I can only describe it as. That didn't change the weight though. So unlike the Pure Drive series and the Pure Aero series, the Strike series, which I'm guessing Bablot deemed as more of a player's series, they made it thinner. My guess, um, my measurement, about a 16 thinner. Um, so you can definitely tell, pick up a strike, pick up a pure arrow or a pure drive and feel the difference. You can definitely feel the edges and it is thinner, um, on the same grip size. So these two were invented to make your grip smaller. If you bought, let's say a four and three eighths and it was a little too thick for you, you would take the, re the replacement grip that came with the racket off and put one of these on. Um, just to thin it out a bit. Now, I'm gonna strip, I'm gonna take these out of the packaging and um, weigh it and see, cause everybody says leather weighs the most. I can actually kind of feel that. So let's see how much it does weigh um, compared to some of these other ones. So I'm gonna take my favorite Hydrosorb Pro and open it up. So I'm not, we're not going to know how much it, it really weighs on the racket. I'm just going to take the grip out because I know uh, it's going to get cut down. Um, it's going to get cut down and then, you know, be a little less. So, but we're going to get a nice generalization of how much these grips actually At weigh. scale, I got my favorite, Hydrosorb Pro. Like I said, I'm gonna keep the packaging on just like this and do the same with the rest, just to see how much the whole thing weighs. Head Hydrosorb Pro, 19 grams. Okay, I'm gonna take the Babolat Syntec Pro next. 20 grams. I'm gonna take the Wilson Pro Performance. 19 grams. Now, I'm gonna take the thin one. So this is the Babolat Skin Feel. Oh, the Skin Feel is 19 grams. So thinning it out didn't change anything. Now, the leather one should weigh more. So this is the Wilson leather. 25.5 grams. So it's essentially about five and a half to six grams heavier than a standard grip. So that'll add some, some weight to your racket. Uh, those of you who are purists and love these. So you're right, it does weigh more. And, and you probably want that. So in closing, um, my favorite grips are the headlines. Uh, the Hydrosorb Pro that come in the racket. If you want a little more thickness, a little more padding, um, the Comfort, Hydrosorb Comfort. If you sweat a lot, the Hydrosorb Tor. Now I'm sure most of you out there uses an overgrip but it's nice to know that you can change the base grip to kind of get what you want too. Um, from all the questions and suggestions uh, from all you viewers, um, my guess is you guys are purists and you go with the leather. 
just because I think you guys know what you're doing so and, and know what you want so you guys probably go with leather with an overgrip like a pro overgrip from Wilson so keep doing that um, but let me know your thoughts let me know your favorite grips let me know what your setup is um, thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis